Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. I don't know if I'm in focus right now, I don't know if the sound's blown out by the wind, but I just had to sit down and record a very important video that I've been kind of putting off for the last few days, mainly because I've been so insanely busy since I got back to America. I've been back in Minneapolis for a week now. It just feels incredibly good to be back. For all who didn't know, I spent the last year here, all of 2022, and then I was back in England for nine months. I'm finally back here for a couple of weeks. Then I'm going to HCS, the Halo Championship Series final this Saturday. We're driving there, and then the event is the following weekend. It's gonna be incredible. But I'm here today to talk about the Alpha 9 drop pods. Kevin, a designer at Mega, has just told us that uh, they not only are not being produced any longer, but also stores didn't buy them to begin with. And that's really tough news. For anyone who doesn't know what the Alpha 9 drop pods are, they're a series of these two-piece drop pods that come with famous characters from Halo 3 ODST Alpha 9. And a lot of these characters have barely been released before. You know, Mickey has only been in two releases. Dutch has only been in kind of two releases, kind of just one. Romeo in just a Halo hero, right? Like, they, they've been so hard to get hold of. The 10th anniversary rookie, so expensive. The only Alpha 9 member, apart from Dare, the only Alpha 9 member that's not in these drop pods is Book, and he comes in the Wombat, and that has also been poorly distributed. We have the Mongoose Outriders that barely had a release outside of Australia. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's bleak. It's not good news. Like, this is a piece of news that the community didn't need right now. And as the brand ambassador, you know, I'm the official voice, the bridge between the community and Mega. I have a proper, you know, sit down meeting with the team at Mega on Friday, and this is gonna be one of the main things I discuss. And we're gonna get into how you can voice your feedback later on in this video. It's been challenging to receive this news. And to be honest with you, just being very real for a second, as the brand ambassador, as someone who's put here to like help bridge the community in Mega, I feel a great deal of responsibility when I'm delivering these, these bad pieces of news. And I, I feel a, a direct responsibility to get these products to the people who need them, which is the whole community, because I think the Alpha 9 drop pods uh, maybe the most desired set of all time now in terms of like what's recently released and is not available. Okay, let me rewind a second. The Falcon Sweep uh, came out last year and had uh, very bad distribution. In response to that, Mega produced a new series, a new run of the Falcon Sweep, which came out on Mattel Creations and sold out almost instantly about a month ago. This was bad news for fans because they couldn't get hold of the Falcon Suite, but it still showed Mega's absolute dedication to restocking something, which is unlike most companies out there. Now, when Mega restocked the Falcon Sweep a month ago, yes, it did sell out, but now it has driven the average price of the Falcon Sweeps down considerably on eBay, which is good news for everyone. It's not the exact news we want. Like, I'd love the Falcon Sweep to be so readily available that they could barely even sell out, but right now, the Falcon Sweep is our best glimpse into how we can try and fix this problem because it was a set that was brought back and sold out almost instantly and the fact that it sold out almost instantly must be a very good indication to Mega that this is something that they should produce more of or specifically Mattel. Now, I know that I'm kind of like beating, uh, I, I, not a dead horse, that's not the right term, but I'm, I'm reiterating myself because this is a similar video to what I made when the Falcon Sweep sold out almost instantly about a month ago because it's the same kind of stuff. Like, I'm still gonna gather the same feedback, I'm still gonna deliver that feedback to Mega and say, to be honest, this is not acceptable. What is surprising to me about the news that Kevin shared was that he was so transparent in telling us that, that retailers didn't wanna buy the drop pods. And to be honest, I, I saw a lot of comments online saying, well, how can that possibly be? I think we need to take into consideration that the amount of fans that are collecting Halo Mega is not representative of the amount of Target stores nationwide in America, right? Like, trying to sell these drop pods for these characters from a game that came out 10 years ago to retailers might be quite difficult. And it's only difficult because Halo has been through the doghouse. And this is also why, like, I honestly feel quite optimistic about the situation in some ways. Of course, it's very easy to get pessimistic and just sell your collection, and I get that. But this is the kind of moment that 
we need to show support as fans more than any other time because this is a designer at Mega saying a retailer did not want to buy this product. And here's why I feel slightly optimistic because it's not like, I've tried to say this before and I'll try and say it again. The term distribution, even though I've probably used it already in this video, the term distribution, it, it's not an all encompassing term. You can say that a set has not been distributed well, but you can't really say that Mega has given up on distribution for, Meg, for Mega Halo, that Halo has awful distribution. Like, yes and no, but I kind of feel like when you say that, it's like Mega is at all to blame for this, but Pokemon Mega is so well distributed across the world. Like every supermarket and toy store in England has Pokemon Mega. So it's less, is this microphone on? Yeah, I was just, I panic sometimes where I'm like, is this microphone still on? Um, Pokemon Mega is well distributed everywhere. Like you see these products popping up in different places. Um, still, Target just got the exclusive distribution rights for America for the new Xbox 360. Like these things can be fixed, but a successful merchandise cannot exist without a successful franchise and Halo has been in the doghouse. Mega, and this is no fault to anyone, but they they got a bad run of luck with with Halo because they basically did a soft relaunch of the line with the Halo Infinite toys in 2020 and the game was delayed by a year and that just stagnated the interest in store shelves and then it just dropped off slowly and now you know I'm concerned about the future of this franchise but clearly there are some ways forward. A lot of the way forward is online retail. Convincing places like Amazon to stock things. The 20th character pack, one of the best distributed sets of all time now. It's been on Amazon for like the last year and that was another set that Mega sold out of and then committed to bringing back and brought back in a big way. I think when they committed to bringing back the Falcon Sweep, it's different because it's different selling an item like the 20th character pack to Amazon versus selling a random Falcon sweep to Mattel creations and I know that's weird mega convincing Mattel to stock things and I'm not speaking on behalf of the company here but the way I see it that's just how it is sometimes like if Mattel is the umbrella mega still has to convince Mattel that this is a good product to have in their inventory when their inventory is quite limited on Mattel creations like it's it, it's it's a very exclusive sort of sort of inventory so Good news is, Mattel must have seen from the Falcon Sweep selling out so quickly that there is some seriously, serious hunger for these sets. And my question to you guys now is, what do we do next, right? Like, how do we channel all of our frustrations, but also all of our demand for these products? How, would, how do we channel that into tangible data that I can present to Mega and tangible ideas for solutions? The first thing I'm gonna do, my Facebook, Reddit, and um, YouTube community page. You can find my YouTube community page by clicking on my YouTube channel, then just on the options, go to community. I'm gonna have a poll there. I'm gonna have a poll on the Reddit page, the Mega Constructs Reddit, and on my Facebook group, the Mega Constructs Domain. Only vote on one of the polls to keep the data clean, because if you vote on three polls, that looks like it's three people wanting the set and it's only one person. But go to those polls right now, they're live right now, and tell me how you were able to get the Alpha 9s, how many you got if you weren't able to get them at all, and I'll present that data. But then also, what else do you think is a good idea? Do you think we should run some petitions online, uh, direct to um, retailers like Target, like Walmart, like Amazon? Do you think we need to collate together um, a list of comments from my YouTube section and put that into a PowerPoint to present to Mega? After the Falcon Sweep um, sold out last month, I collated a beautiful two presentations of all the poll data I collected and a load of the comments, probably like a hundred comments, and put them all into a PowerPoint and sent them direct to Mega. I'll be doing that again with this Alpha 9 drop pods, with these Alpha 9 drop pods. So please do let me know uh, in the comments section of this video how you feel about these Alpha 9 drop pods and how desperately you want to get them and why they mean so much to you. Um, and really, it's just like, it, it, it just sucks, you know? Um, I've been collecting these products my entire life, pretty much. Uh, I've had this YouTube channel for almost 12 years, and 
um, to be brought on as a brand ambassador and have to deliver this this kind of bad news, it, it, it's tough, and I, I don't I don't like it. I want to be giving you nothing but W's in this community, but in reality. Halo Infinite has been stagnating and right now it's about locking ourselves down, it's about making it clear what we want and not losing sight of that. Like, I'm pretty confident that Halo Infinite might see a huge revival come Season 5. The, 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 the foundations have been placed, like everyone's talking very, very positively about um, Halo Infinite Season 5 and I believe that this might be the turning point where we we see a big revival and if we see a big revival we see more sets we already know that we're getting two halo tv series sets the fleet com mongoose and the fleet com warthog um and i'll have way more intel about that soon um and the new blind bags are the greatest army builders ever things like here's here's the thing i and i just i just want to make this clear i pledge my absolute like life force to making sure that halo mega uh, survives over the next couple of years it's one of the only things that i really care about i i just i'm so passionate about this community i'm so passionate about everything i've built i'm so passionate about my future and i will do just about anything to make sure this community survives so it's like this is a bump in the uh the bump in the road but um, these just these drop pods need to be packaged into sets of four and sold on Mattel Creations and just be done with it, or um, an Amazon uh, drop, or a pack called the Heroes of Halo, where it's season 16, 17, and 18 all in one package, maybe with some slight paint app differences. There's a lot of great ideas out there, and I just I refuse to go quietly into the night. I refuse to believe this is the end. I refuse to think anything else other than the fact that we have a wonderful community. And while these hurdles are here, they're barely any fault of anyone in particular. Halo was delayed, the fan base dropped off, but the fan base is coming back. A, a, a revival is inbound, and I'm, I'll tell you what, a revival is going to feel so much better than this downtime. Riding that wave out of this canyon is going to be wonderful. So uh, that's that's the Alpha 9 drop pods. Uh, leave your comments down below and I'm going to be collating all the feedback. Go answer one of my polls and also in the comments section just say your best ideas. How do you think we should fix this situation? How do you think we should convince more retailers to stock Mega? There's been some great drops recently on like Atomic Empire, Paul Mart Shop, um, uh, Entertainment Earth where every time they put Halo up it sells out. It sells out almost instantly. So like... This is not the end. Also, I bought like over 300 blind bags and I'm taking them back to the UK and selling them at near retail to just just kickstart that collecting back into the UK. Uh, I, I just, I refuse to think this is anything more than a, a bump in the road. And uh, my, my, my heart goes out to anyone who can't get these drop pods. Um, I know it means a lot to a lot of people. But at the end of the day, um, being real, collecting Halo Mega is the most important thing in my life of the things that are not important at all. Because, you know, I got my friends, I got my family, I got my community, I got my YouTube channel, I'm blessed. Um, and I hope that with enough persuasion, uh, persuasion power, persuading power, we can bring back the Falcon Sweep, we can bring back Halo Heroes to their glory, we can bring back the Alpha 9 Drop Pods. This is literally just a bump in the road because Halo Infinite got delayed by a year and then was stagnant for a long time. Right, I'm going to swim back to shore. Uh, this has been Halo Boy. Uh, big shout out to everyone, big shout out to uh, Mega for continuing to support this channel officially. And uh, yeah. Nothing I said today was officially from Mega, but everything I said today was officially from the heart. <laughs> All right, signing off. Peace out, everyone.